Hi, this is Victor Gill from the Cisco Security Tag Team. In this video, I show you how to back up Cisco Security Manager CSM. Prerequisites. For this video, I use these devices already installed, configured and integrated. Windows Server 2012 R2 standard. Cisco Security Manager CSM version 4.22. Important points to consider. Event data used by the event manager service is not included when performing a CSM database backup. If the reporting database needs to be excluded from a complete backup file, the backup.properties file must be changed under the property called skip underscore rpt underscore db underscore backup to yes. When performing either backup or restore activities, both common services and security manager processes are turned off and restarted. There are two ways to perform a CSM backup, through graphical user interface or command line interface. You cannot restore from an earlier version of security manager if that backup contains any pending data, which is data that has not been committed to the database. Before upgrading to a new version of Cisco Security Manager, it is recommended that you commit or discard all uncommitted changes and then create a backup of your database. Now, let's begin with the backup steps on graphical user interface. Open a web browser and enter the IP address of the CSM server. Then, Enter the credentials to access the CSM administration and click the login button. Now, navigate to the server administration, server, backup. Now, choose the desired directory for the backup to be saved. Then, select the frequency of the backup and click apply. A pop-up window appears asking if you want to proceed with the backup now. Click OK. Once the backup is complete, go to the folder that you defined previously and verify the backup file is in there. The default name of the backup folder created is zero. Inside folder zero, there are three subfolders, CMF, RPT, BMS. This folder contains the CSM database information. The total size of the backup depends on the configuration and the number of devices managed by the CSM. Another way to configure CSM is through command line interface, also called Windows CMD. Open a command line on Windows and enter this command to start the backup CSM task. First, enter the location of the per script. Next, Enter the backup.pl file location, the directory where you want to create the backup. There are other optional parameters you can use with the above command. For example, email address to receive notifications, but make sure to configure SMTP settings in Cisco Work Common Services to receive these notifications. Log file name. This is important if you want to verify the log messages generated during the backup for troubleshooting purposes. Compress if you want the backup file to be compressed. Number of generations. This parameter specifies the maximum number of backup generations to keep in the backup directory. Once this limit is reached, all backup files begin to be deleted. If you type zero, there is no limit. Finally, verify that the file is generated in the destination folder previously configured. I hope this video is informative and thank you for viewing it.